Hi students, in this video, I am going to share with you the analysis of uh, today's uh, question paper on corporate accounts of CMA Inter. So, regarding December 2023 examination. <coughs> so, we know that the weightage of corporate account is for, so accounting is for 50 marks. And the first question is the compulsory question. And in this question, they have given 5 MCQs which are related to corporate accounts and remaining MCQs are related to auditing. So in the first MCQ, so the which is given from the buyback of securities chapter and which is a theory based MCQ. So just by listening to the classes uh, itself, you can able to answer this question. So that is which of the following test is not required as per section 68 of the Companies Act. So while calculating the number of shares to be bought back. So this is an so direct MCQ which is given from the theory. So you can easily and comfortably answer this question. Next one is the uh, so the cash payment to supplier is a part of so dash activity under the direct method so whether it is direct method or indirect method the payments to suppliers so is generally considered as operating activity so this is also an mcq which is given based on the so theory only just by listening to the classes itself you can able to answer this question all the mcqs are be given based on the theory only and uh, the mcqs are also given so in such a way uh, in such a way that so just you can answer these questions just by listening to the classes itself <clears throat> so and uh, no practical based mcqs are given all the mcqs which are given in the corporate accounts are based on theory only and next uh, next mcq is being given so based on the definition of so current assets so generally the debtors which are expected to be settled within operating companies normal operating cycle are generally called as current assets so this is the definition of current asset if you have gone through the definition of current asset, you can easily answer this question. And next one is also an MCQ which is being uh, given based on the theory only from accounts of insurance companies. So one insurance company is going to transfer a part of the risk to the other insurance company. So it is called as, it is the question which is being given based on the definition of reinsurance. So it is also a direct theory question only. And next MCQ is being given, so based on the theory from, so in days. So as per India's two, so inventories, the cost of conversion should not include. So really if you have gone through the theory which is given in the India's, so you can easily answer this question also. So surprisingly all the MCQs are given based on theory only and there is no so practical based uh, so MCQ which is being given so in the exam. Next. Term. So coming to question number 2A, so which is related to so bonus and rights issue and also this question includes uh, for feature under reissue of shares so for answering this question you should be having the knowledge of for feature under reissue of shares and also you should be having the accounting treatment in case of rights issue and uh, this question actually so in bonus and rights issue chapter in our material so there is a comprehensive problem we have given as crd5 in that problem so all these adjustments we have covered in that uh, problem so if you have so gone through that problem you can easily answer this question so those who are having the knowledge over per feature and uh, reissue of shares treatment and also the rights issue entries so they can easily answer this question so next one question number 2b so which is related to bonus and rights issue so this is a question being given based on the rights issue so this is a direct question which is available in both study material as well as in our mm material also in our mm material i think it is the question number crd number 4 so which is a direct question and even the numbers are also not changed so the direct question is being given in the examination and next question number 3 is related to preparation of statement of p and l and balance sheet as per schedule 3 so it is company final accounts so here we have to prepare the statement of p and l and balance sheet of company as per schedule 3 division 1 format actually in the question they have not mentioned whether it is division 1 or division 2 unless otherwise given we have to so solve the problems by using division 1 format only and this is a direct study material problem uh, only the numbers are reduced from so reduced to one fourth of the values which are given in the study material suppose in the study material the machinery value is given as 4 lakhs in the examination they have reduced that value to 1 lakh in the study material uh, sorry so outstanding expense is 8000 in the examination they have reduced it to 2000 so whatever the values which are given in the study material they have reduced them to one fourth values and this question is also given in our mm material so as crd number 7 so this is also a direct problem just numbers are only changed in the examination 
next one so coming to question number 4a so this is also a question from electricity companies accounts of electricity companies so this is also a direct question so without changing the numbers they have given the question so in the examination so this problem is available uh, both in the study material and also in our material also we have given this question as crd number 4 so this is also a direct question and you can comfortably answer this question if you have gone through the problems which are available in our material next one is a uh, so the question which is being given from accounts of insurance companies so accounts of insurance companies and this is also a direct problem even without changing the numbers they have given in the so examination this problem is available both in the study material and also in our mm material also we have covered this problem in crd number 5 so next uh, so coming to question number 5a which is based on indas 33 so that is earning per share so this type these model questions are also covered in our material so <coughs> So this kind of problems are also given in the study material but in the examination by changing the numbers they have given this question in the public examination. So next uh, coming to the last question so that is based on the cash flow statement. So in the cash flow statement they are not asking you to prepare the entire cash flow statement they are just asking you to prepare the cash flow from operating activities only. So if you have really gone through the problems uh, which are based on the indirect method so at least two, three to four problems then comfortably you can answer this question but uh, the similar kind of adjustments are also covered in our masterminds material in crd number six also so thereby if you have gone through the indirect method problems then you can also answer this question so majority of the questions what which are being given in the examination are direct questions from the study material only some questions are di uh, given directly without changing the numbers and some questions are given in such a way that just they are going to make some so uh, they have reduced the amounts to half of the values or one fourth of the values so just by changing the numbers they have given the questions in the examination okay so in my point of view so i think this is a very easy question paper and the mcqs are given in such a way that so you can easily answer the question so within a span of within one minute time only so no practical based mcqs are given all the mcqs given are uh, given are theory based mcqs only okay thank you <coughs> So hello students, uh, myself Ram and before you to present uh, December 2023 CMA Inter Auditing uh, Paper Review that is under new syllabus. So they have given approximately nine, 8 to 9 MCQs uh, which are very straight and very easy. So first one is the uh, audit documentation is covered by very simple sir SA 230 straight away. Then next they are asking that which of the following is a uh, uh, not an example of uh, internal audit uh, evidence so it is uh, again uh, a simple question a uh, very easy question that is the uh, quotations then form dash is used for the purpose of intimation of appointment of cost auditor by the company to the central government it is a uh, cra2 uh, don't take those uh, uh, questions that are marked there because we take question paper from students so he might have uh, picked up uh, as a as answer but answer is uh, b no audit firm shall be appointed or reappointed as auditor for more than normal it is a two consecutive terms for a period of two two terms for a period of five consecutive years then uh, j question is i think uh, regarding uh, accounting it is not regarding auditing so mostly they have given a uh, straight away mcqs which are uh, very easy nothing to lose you should score you should obviously have scored 100 percent in these uh, things uh, the next question which of the following is not a basic element of audit report as per SA 700 so this is from audit reporting chapter these are from basic chapter SA audit documentation is from basic chapter this is uh, audit evidence is also a basic chapter this is from company audit section 148 then this is also from company audit chapter that is a rotation section 139 then which of the following is not a basic element of audit report as per SA 700 that is from audit reporting chapter SA 700 we will not speak anything about report of accrual assumption so if this is a, which is not a basic element obviously auditor opinion basis of opinion and key audit matters form part of it and straight away easy question which of the following is not a part of rural self-government system in india it is a there is no gram parishad gram panchayat is there panchayat samiti under jilla parishad there is no gram parishad in a, so he has picked a, up a wrong answer Casual vacancy in the office of cost auditor is filled by normally casual vacancy in, ca in the case of cost auditor it is filled by option A board of uh, directors and not uh, shareholders. 
so the person might have given some wrong answer sir. so he has given tick to those three according to central uh, cooperative societies act normally it is a 25 percentage of the profits of a cooperative society should be transferred to reserve fund again simple sir it is a whatever we have uh, discussed in classes straight away question nothing out of uh, those things so it is a b answer here it is board of directors will appoint sir in case of casual vacancy even in case of a cost auditor so simple all questions are straight away very simple questions so, then which of the following is an audit risk so audit risk comprise normally control risk inherent risk or a detection risk so it is a option c that is a control risk which of the following they have asked so out of nine questions almost everything is easy sir nothing difficult in those questions then descriptive part where they are giving seven uh, marks questions majorly they have picked up uh, seven marks uh, questions so they have given option uh, out of uh, seven questions you have to write i think any five questions uh, section b comprises of uh, so they have given uh, any five questions you have to write out of uh, seven questions so they have given two choices uh, for your purpose so even if you have scored better in accounting compensated so question number 6 a what is audit trail and discuss the statutory provisions relating to audit trail so this is contained in a application of technology and audit trail chapter we have repeated many times in class that this is most important because this is a recent future so even there are special provisions under 143 also so straight away questions sir if you write 8 to 10 points so that will be more than sufficient so easy questions are nothing twist in a, so you can go through all these questions straight away questions they have not twisted anything in a auditing subject which companies are required to undergo secretarial audit this question is given in last attempt and they have repeated again so which companies are covered required to undergo secretarial audit discuss the provisions relating to procedures of appointment of a secretarial auditor that is section 204 straight away questions are nothing twisted this question is repeated many times okay now so last attempt it was given and again now they have repeated this question then discuss the role of auditor in relation to audit of an unpaid dividend so this is from audit of items of a different financial statements item so unpaid dividend regarding section 123 to 127 deals regarding dividend provisions again a simple question hardly if you write seven to eight points that will be enough sir discuss the role of auditor in relation to audit of an unpaid dividend then 7b question what is the procedure of appointing a cost auditor in a company so section 148 many times they are repeating and obviously cma institute cost auditor provisions are more important we have even highlighted many times in the classes so straight away question what is the procedure of appointing a cost auditor in a company so section 148 so board of director there is specific procedure under section 148 cost auditor is appointed so simple questions are 7 7 all questions are majorly straight questions as i told in our strategy uh, video that they will not focus more on audit they will not twist any questions as usual they have not twisted any question while conducting the audit of an educational institution how will you verify the receipt related transaction again straight away question as i told in a strategy document that uh, normally they will definitely pick a question from audit of different types of uh, uh, undertakings and they have taken uh, educational institutions so straight questions are hardly you have to write uh, 8 to 10 points under straight away you will get a uh, 7 marks no twist in question easy question you have followed the class thoroughly and in mm material this is the first question in that chapter then recent provisions are discuss the role of national financial reporting authority in monitoring and uh, enforcing compliance with auditing standards so a separate body has been uh, brought into picture uh, that is a uh, national financial reporting authority and they have asked uh, that how it will be monitoring and enforcing compliance with the auditing standards so this is also a straight question so auditing they have picked up uh, 14 into 3 that is 30 plus uh, 42 plus uh, uh, and uh, they have uh, picked up uh, 9 mcq so approximately so 50 marks they have covered from a uh, auditing and balance from uh, accounting subjects so fairly it is very easy paper uh, to score in auditing all straight questions are mcqs are uh, very easy they have given mostly they have given all the mcqs uh, very easy if you have listened to the class thoroughly then uh, you should have uh, attempted all these questions uh, very very easily you know so most of the questions are uh, straight questions no twisting has been done and overall paper is uh, very easy for audit cma inter 2023 december attempt sir and as i told they are not focusing more on audit paper it will be mostly easy only and it is uh, easy for this attempt as well okay all the best for your for your future exam